Welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how to create a project. Let's continue by placing some panels to design our system. If you haven't watched that video yet, you can find a link in the description below. In this video, I'll be highlighting the key tools that we will use to manipulate our panels in your workspace. So feel free to pause the video and rewind at any point. Let's start by choosing our solar panel. In the bottom right, we have our panel library where we have over 3,000 of our most recent panels. Let's search for the Trina Honey 310 watt panels. You'll notice that the more specific we are with our search, the more specific our list of search results become. I like to type in the brand, the series, and the wattage of the panel. You know what? I actually use this panel all the time, so I'm gonna set this panel as one of my favorites. Favorite panels will appear at the top of your panel library for future projects. To place one of these panels on the roof, all we need to do is drag and drop it onto the rooftop. As you let go of the panel, you'll see it shrink to size. Now this panel is in the same scale as the real world. All right, now that we have our first panel on the roof, let's make sure that it's in the correct position. For this system, we won't be using tilt frames. So let's go ahead and set the panel tilt to match that of the roof in our properties bar. If we are using tilt frames, simply set the tilt angle to be the resulting angle for the panels. Next, let's make sure that our panel is facing the right way and is in the right location. So with the select tool, we can rotate the panel by dragging the black rotation handles and put it where we want it. We don't need to be super accurate here we can always come back and adjust it later. So now we can add more panels with the build tool. With the build tool selected, we can come back to our panel and click and drag to add a whole row or a whole grid. Panels are automatically spaced by 20 millimeters. Now that we're done with this roof, we can duplicate some of this work that we've done here with the copy and paste feature. We'll start by selecting a group of panels that we want to duplicate. And with this group selected, we can now press Ctrl C then Ctrl V on a Windows machine or Command C then Command V if you're on a Mac to get a copy of our panel group. So let's put this where we want it and face it the right way. Here's a tip. We can snap panels together by holding down the Shift key when dragging panels. Once the panel in the group highlights, we can let go of the left mouse button and the panel will neatly snap into place. We have a few panels here that we don't want. Let's use the eraser tool to delete them like so. And there we have it. We've used the core design tools to add, adjust and remove panels that's simple to use but also provides an incredible amount of flexibility. In the next video, we'll configure our solar system and generate the solar proposal for our customer.